working in the spirit of the Golden Empire. This is 17 News at 11. We can change America, and in changing America, we can change the world. Remembering a civil rights icon, tonight America pays tribute to the late John Lewis. Well, good evening to you on this Saturday. I'm Aton Wallace. Thanks for having us in. More on that in a moment, but first we begin tonight with a tragedy from the Kern River where a 14-year-old has died. Kern County Sheriff's search and rescue crews responded to Hart Park this evening after someone reported a 14-year-old girl missing in the river. During the search, a Kern County Sheriff's helicopter located the girl in the water. Rescuers administered CPR and took her to a nearby hospital where she was pronounced dead. Bakersfield Fire Department reminds people to stay out and stay alive. I just want to stress, you know, the, the dangers of the river. Anytime, anytime anybody gets in the river, they should have a PFD or life vest on. Always be with uh, friends or family so they have somebody there to watch them. And if you can't swim, stay out of the water. And another rescue to tell you about this evening. Around 7 o'clock, a call came into the sheriff's office of a 50-year-old man who went into the Kern River near the Cow Flat area. This is right around mile marker 23.5. The sheriff's office said the search has been called out for the day, but it can, will continue tomorrow between 7 and 8 a.m. Now to the latest numbers on the COVID outbreak here in Kern County. Kern County Public Health Director Matt Constantine warned this week we could start to see daily spikes quadruple the amount we've been seeing daily since. Well, that is in part due to increased test demands coupled with delays from the labs. And sure enough, today we saw that spike. Kern Public Health announced another 495 COVID tests. Our death toll still stands at 105. The county is tracking over 2,700 active cases. Most of those are isolated at home. 175 are being treated at local hospitals and 2,165 people are still waiting on their test results. Now, with today's latest numbers, Kern is on track to be put back on the state's watch list if we continue to see such high numbers for the next two days. Only then will we officially go on the list and start to close down. Sad news coming out of Atlanta, Georgia, civil rights icon and U.S. Representative John Lewis has died at the age of 80 after battling cancer for several months. NBC's Dan Sheneman has more on the life and legacy of Lewis. We're marching today to dramatize to the nation, dramatize to the world. From Selma to Washington, John Lewis dedicated his life to the fight for civil rights. On one hand, we made a lot of progress, but come distance. Uh, but we're not there yet. The son of sharecroppers, he believed nonviolent action could ignite social change. We can change America, and in changing America, we can change the world. I was beaten. Arrested dozens of times, he became one of the original freedom riders, challenging laws in the South which prohibited black and white riders from sitting together on interstate buses. The buses were often targeted by angry mobs. In 1963, he helped organize the March on Washington when hundreds of thousands of activists gathered at the National Mall to hear one of the iconic speeches in American history. Later, Lewis worked to organize the marches from Selma to Montgomery, which included the confrontation on the Edmund Pettus Bridge, where marchers were met by Alabama state troopers. As he grew older, Lewis took his fight for social justice to Congress. One paper said he was the only major former civil rights leader to extend his fight for human rights to the halls of the Capitol. The time for silence and patience is long gone. We're calling on the leadership of the House to bring common sense gun control legislation to the House floor. Give us a vote. One of the leading liberals in Washington, Lewis didn't back down from a fight. In his later years, Lewis spent much of his time educating and inspiring the next generation. And I said to all of the young people, you must get out there and push and pull and make America what America should be for all of us. From his activism in the civil rights movement to in his... In 2011, President Obama, the nation's first African-American president, awarded John Lewis the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor. And generations from now, when parents teach their children what is meant by courage, the story of John Lewis will come to mind. That courage was tested again when Lewis learned he had stage 4 pancreatic cancer. He said, quote, I've decided to do what I know to do and do what I have always done. I'm going to fight it. John Lewis, who believed equality, could not wait. Dan Sheneman, NBC News. 
And President Donald J. Trump offered condolences today for the late John Lewis. The president said in a tweet he, quote, was saddened to hear the news of civil rights hero John Lewis passing. Melania and I send our prayers to he and his family. Bakersfield Congressman Kevin McCarthy took to Twitter calling John Lewis, quote, an extraordinary man, a patriot in the truest sense, and a friend. Congressman T.J. Cox also said, quote, it was a pleasure to call John Lewis a colleague and a friend. Shifting gears now to roadways, Chester Avenue and Brundage Lane, it's one of Bakersfield's busiest intersections. Well, today, it was closed off. That is because of this, a giant 8 by 12 foot sinkhole at the south end of the intersection near the McDonald's. BPD was on scene for much of the day, diverting traffic. Now at this hour, we're told the sinkhole has not yet been repaired and the southbound lanes remain closed for an indefinite period of time. And another traffic advisory to tell you about, this time closures are scheduled for much of 24th Street beginning Monday. The reason? Paving is set to take place at intersections along 24th Street between E and M Streets. This road work will require closures on the south side of the intersections and nighttime lane closures between 7 p.m. and 5 a.m. each morning between uh, Monday and Thursday of this coming week. And fire crews from all over California continue to battle a wildfire in Fresno County that has been burning for five days now. The mineral fire started Monday in fields just west of the city of Coalinga, nearly two and a half hours west of Bakersfield. The fire has now burned over 24,000 acres and destroyed at least four buildings. No one has been hurt in this fire, but 60 other structures are reportedly in the path of the flames. And the smoke has been affecting the air we all breathe here in the valley. Right now, over 1,200 firefighters are trying to get the fire under control. The Kern County Fire Department sent five firefighters and two bulldozers to help. At Cal Fire's last update, the mineral fire was 35% contained. A hot one today and still a little hazy around the area. We are watching as we are expecting more smoke from the mineral fire to continue to filter through Kern County. So that air quality warning will stand through Monday morning. Keep that in mind. And meanwhile, thunderstorms firing up near Mammoth this afternoon. But by tonight, things have quieted down. We are, of course, dry here in Kern County. And taking a look at your forecast through the overnight, dropping down into the mid to upper 70s and then quickly climbing to Tomorrow by 1 p.m., 95, 100 degrees by 3 p.m. On our way to 102 tomorrow afternoon in the valley. In the mountains, we'll be into the lower 60s to mid 60s and then mid to upper 80s in the afternoon. We're going to talk about the new work week ahead in your complete pinpoint forecast. All right, Alyssa, thank you. Education news now. Many classrooms across Kern County will not be filled with students this fall. Governor Gavin Newsom announced yesterday that counties can start in-person education only if they manage to stay off the state's watch list for 14 days in a row. All counties who do not meet that criteria, including Kern, will start the fall with distance learning. The state's guidance also says in school districts allowed to resume classroom teaching, teachers, staff, and students must wear masks or face shields in classes above second grade. In second grade or below, it's recommended but not required. And some local school districts already voted to begin fall semester online, or they're offering parents the option to have their kids learn virtually. A spokesman for the Kern County Superintendent of Schools office says until physical learning is possible, they need to make sure distance learning is high quality. Schools were closed down back in March. Uh, we were frankly caught flat-footed and uh, teaching and learning suffered because distance learning was simply a foreign concept for K-12 education. I believe that many strides have been made in a few short months and our school districts are in a far better place now than they were back in March. On Friday, the Bakersfield City School District confirmed virtual learning is still their plan going forward. Meantime, the Kern High School District said it is reviewing all of the new guidelines before making a final decision. And 17 News is your local election headquarters. Today, the race for Bakersfield City Council got a little bit bigger. That's because Jesse Quijada officially pulled papers for the 6th Ward seat. This is a video from Thursday. It's a seat which represents much of southwest Bakersfield. The current occupant, Councilmember Jackie Sullivan, announced earlier this year she plans to retire after 25 years representing Ward 6. Quijada, a registered medical student who's lived in Bakersfield for the last six years, shared why he believes you should vote for him. Our local leaders have failed to properly represent and inform our community on what's going on in local government. So I'm running to restore integrity and transparency to the Bakersfield City Council. 
Quijada said he'll prioritize affordable housing and infrastructure, and if elected, he also supports allocating funds from BPD and investing them elsewhere, but he stressed he does not support abolishing the police. Quijada is the third person to announce candidacy in this race, also running Pastor Gregory Tatum and small business owner Patty Gray. Other council seats up for election this November include wards 1, 2, and 5. We're just getting started here on 17 News at 11. Coming up. Where kids were able to escape the heat today. Alyssa Carlson has your pinpoint forecast. Plus, fair or no fair when the Kern County Fair Board is expected to make a decision. We're still here. We are still here. We're still here to save you money. We're still here to save you money with solar. We're still here to tune up your AC. We're still here to fix your roof. We are still here for you. For you. For you. We're still here for you. We are still bland. Bland. More exciting than it sounds. This cheeseburger is the best. It's about to get best, baby! Make it a double! Yeah! Nice main! Try my $4.99 Southwest Cheddar Cheeseburger combo and make it a double for a buck more. Order now with no contact delivery. Unused quality RVs are expensive to keep around. There's bank loans, insurance, DMV fees, storage fees, and ongoing maintenance costs. Barry's RV can bring all this to an end. We will give you a check on the spot. We'll take care of the paperwork. So stop by Highway 99 and 7th Standard Road and see for yourself how Barry's RV can end the drain on your checkbook and turn your RV into instant cash today. Barry's RV, treating others the way they want to be treated. Daryl's Mini Storage offers storage units in a variety of sizes to fit your needs. Mid-size units like this are perfect for most people. It's like having an extra bedroom right around the corner from your home. With room to fit holiday decorations, sports equipment, or whatever is keeping you from fitting your car in the garage. Daryl's Mini Storage provides the personal touch of on-site managers. With 60 locations to choose from, use us as an extension of your home and garage. Find your space at Daryl's. Call, click, or stop by today. Why go anywhere else when you have affordable furniture? Get special 12 months financing or no credit check financing. We also do 90-day layaways to make your purchase easy and affordable. Unbelievable financing options available with great prices. Affordable furniture, 19th and Baker. Well, children and families were having a blast this afternoon at local spray parks. This is video from Beale Park. Looks like people kept their social distancing all while enjoying a great way to escape the heat. And speaking of heat, here's Alyssa Carlson with your pinpoint forecast. Hey, Alyssa. Heat wave number four rolls on, and wow, was it a hot one today. We were again above average. 98 is our average high. We made up to 101. That's after a morning low of 73. Meanwhile, have you seen it yet? We're talking about Comet Neowise, and if you are anxious to see the comet, it is visible from Bakersfield. You just have to look to the north and west around dusk. Of course, this comet is not going to be around forever, and I do anticipate that we have about four days left for the peak of it and then after that uh, we will not be able to see Neowise anymore. As we look at high pressure building in, it's going to continue with the offshore winds here keeping us hot. Area of low pressure offshore is circulating that is keeping the coastal areas nice and cool only into the mid 60s if you're heading to the beaches so that's probably the best place to be if you want to cool off. Tomorrow afternoon a slight chance of pop-up thunderstorms again near Yosemite and still not seeing much from the monsoon flow as it is over New Mexico. Monday afternoon, maybe another shot at some pop-up storms up in the central Sierra. Here's the regional... 111 in Las Vegas, that's the hot spot, 103 in Fresno, 96 in Sacramento, 67 in San Francisco, 77 inland at San Luis Obispo, and looking then at 80 in L.A., 83 in San Diego, which is...
It'll be in the mid-60s, by the way, along the central coast. Here's your forecast for tonight. Mid to upper 60s and then 102 in Bakersfield tomorrow. 102 in Porterville, 103 in Arvin, 100 in Mettler, 100 in Maricopa, 100 in Taft. Button Willow coming in at 103. Wasco, 103 as well. In the mountains tonight, 51 in Fraser Park, 61 in Pine Mountain Club, 64 in Bear Valley, 71 in Lake Isabella. And then in Wofford Heights tomorrow, 98 degrees, 96 in Weldon, 89 in Tehachapi, 88 in Stallion Springs, 90 in Fraser Park. In the desert, sunny, breezy, and hot winds gusting upwards of 40 miles per 103 at Edwards Air Force Base. Air quality and healthy for sensitive groups tomorrow, 108 for the AQI. And here is that pinpoint forecast. Monday, we'll start to see the ridge break down. And by Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll be back into the upper 90s, mid 90s by Thursday. Overnight low, lower 70s and upper 60s. Mountains, you will be into the upper 80s the next few days, mid 80s by Wednesday at night, upper 50s, lower 60s, and in the Kern River Valley, upper 90s the next few days, mid 90s Wednesday through Friday with lows near. 60s. So stay cool out there and of course uh, follow the rules of obey the heat and do your best to stay indoors in the AC if possible. Aton. Yes, stay cool. Thank you, Alyssa. All right, well, we told you last week about a naval ship catching fire in San Diego. What a top U.S. Navy official is saying tonight about whether the ship will be able to return to sea. Motorcycle riders love the open road, and GEICO loves helping riders get to where they're going. So to help even more, GEICO is giving new and current customers a 15% credit on their motorcycle policies with the GEICO Give Back. And because we're committed for the long haul, the credits last your whole policy term. The GEICO Give Back, helping riders focus on the road ahead. Wish there was an all-inclusive health plan for the elderly with a chronic condition. One with the resources to provide coordinated care and help make home care simple. Bakersfield Pace, supporting seniors to extend their independence. Call today. I got smacked right from behind rear-ended. The insurance uh, company tried to lowball me. I knew that with my injuries and I knew that what I'm going through and with my car, I knew that I needed to get more help. I was able to remember the 661s, 333 which was Mickey Fine's number, and got me the, the help that I needed. Call my office, the law offices of Mickey Fine, 661-333-3333. They had awesome results at the end of the day. It's our 80th anniversary sale at Motor City, California's largest volume Buick GMC dealer. Right now, get our employee discount for everyone on most SUV models. That means over 7,000 total savings on Acadia. Visit MotorCityGMC.com for a list of both lease and finance options. Shop from home, take delivery in a safe and clean environment. For a professional-grade experience, welcome to the city, Motor City. Local businesses are the heartbeat of the community. With over 30 years experience, Latham Sheets Fine Jewelry offers custom designed pieces, excellent pricing, and the largest selection of diamonds in the valley. Shop local at Latham Sheets Fine Jewelry. Welcome back. It was another tense night in Portland, Oregon, where federal officers fired tear gas at protesters. Video shows officers clearing a street in downtown Portland last night. Protesters took down fencing from nearby parks and used it to block traffic and barricade the doors of the county justice center and federal courthouse. Police released a statement today saying they made several arrests, but that they were not the ones who used the tear gas. Portland's mayor is demanding the federal officers be removed, and the state's attorney general has vowed to seek a restraining order against them. The protests have happened nightly in Portland since George Floyd died in police custody in Minneapolis on May 25th. They're protesting against systemic racism and police brutality.
Now to a story we brought you last week. Navy officials say the fire that tore through the USS Bonhomme Richard is one of the worst they've seen outside of combat. After an inspection of the ship Friday, Admiral Mike Gilday praised those who fought the multi-day blaze, which included sailors from that ship, from other ships, and federal and local firefighters. Crews will continue to clean up from the fire, and officials think the ship may even be able to return to sea. I am 100% confident that our defense industry uh, can put this ship back to sea. But having said that, the question is, should we make that investment in a 22-year-old ship? Officials also announced Friday that at least two sailors involved in fighting the fire have tested positive for COVID-19. Those sailors and at least 27 others who were in close contact have been placed under quarantine. Well, still to come, the future of the Kern County Fair, when the fair board is set to decide the fate of the fair. When looking for a TV and internet provider, we know you have a choice. This is Jessica. She still has satellite TV. Well, I get tons of HD. Spectrum has tons of HD. And we get exclusive access to premium original content with Spectrum Originals. I don't have that. Plus, sometimes in the rain, our services go out. Because of the dish on your roof? Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-916-4499. And Spectrum Internet starts at 100 megabits with no data caps and a free modem. We have to get internet from another company and it isn't nearly as fast. Spectrum Internet, $44.99 a month. I'd switch, but I'm stuck in a contract and would have to pay up to $480 to cancel. Spectrum has no contracts and they'll pay up to $500 to help you out of your that's it. I'm switching to Spectrum. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $44.99 a month each. Call 833-916-4499. Better Night Sleep Center wants to reassure everyone during this difficult time. Our community remains strong and Kern County will endure as we all need restful sleep. Better Night Sleep Center remains open and can provide many sleep solutions for daytime sleepiness, snoring, nighttime respiratory disturbances, and many more. Our goal is to get you the rest you deserve. Call Better Night Sleep Center for a free consultation or visit us at 3612 Coffee Road, Suite C. Getting you rest is what this sleep lab does best. Whether you're buying or selling in these unique times, then you need smart marketing by Lori McCarty. Lori and her team follow all CDC guidelines and use the latest tools to make your experience safe and stress-free. Lori and her team utilize the latest technology, offering online consultations and staging, interactive walkthroughs, cinematic videos, and digital contract signing, all through an online platform that can be used from the comfort of your own home. Let Lori McCarty's smart marketing work for you. Well, we are just two months away from when the Kern County Fair would usually begin. On Monday, we could find out if the fair will go on or will fall victim to COVID-19. The board that organizes the fair will discuss if the annual event needs to be canceled. Board members are juggling concerns about coronavirus and the fair's budget. During a meeting in May, they decided the fair could go on as scheduled. In May, Finance Chair Lucas Esperacuerta said they should consider a fair with no rides but just concerts, livestock animals and concessions. He said the fair as an organization could lose up to $3 million if the event is canceled. And another decision is expected to come down on Monday, yay or nay on fall sports. Officials with the California Intergalactic Federation, the state's governing body for high school sports, are contemplating pulling the plug on fall sports completely. And yes, that includes the great autumn ritual of high school football. We will bring you the decision on Monday as soon as we get it. And just ahead, new pictures of the Neowise Comet. Where in the valley these stunning pictures were taken. This is an important medical message from the Pain Management Network. Do you suffer from severe back or knee pain? Making even your most simple everyday activities difficult? Well, if you're on Medicare, we have great news. You can now receive a pain-relieving knee or back brace at little or no cost to you. We'll handle the paperwork with Medicare for free. All shipping and customer service is free. And the call to check your eligibility is free. 
Call now, 800-238-1750. 800-238-1750. With two one-third pound beef patties, the only way to stop it is to eat it. The new Monster Angus Thick Burger at Carl's Jr. Feed your happy. If you've been injured on the job, call the local lawyers at Barry Smith & Bartell. We've recovered millions of dollars for injured workers. And there's no fee unless we win your case. Barry Smith & Bartell, bringing justice to injured workers. At Manji Landscape, it all starts with a mission. Since 1953, our commitment has been designing, building, and caring for beautiful environments. Our clients love the fact that no matter how complex their project is, they can rely on just one company to bring it to life. Let our team of professionals help you discover the endless possibilities of waiting outdoors. Manji Landscape, redefining outdoor living since 1953. Car trouble? Tune in Monday during KGET's 5 p.m. news for Shop Talk with Richard Gautier from G&G Auto Repair. Repair and maintenance tips from Kern County's most trusted auto repair shop. Brought to you by G&G Auto Repair. One third pound Angus beef. Doubled. That means two. The new Monster Angus Thick Burger at Carl's Jr. Feed your happy. Take a look at this. Dozens of cars took to the streets of Chester Avenue in downtown Bakersfield this evening, all for a good cause. Known as the Chester Cruise, this family-friendly event brought together car enthusiasts and neighbors to honor essential workers on the front lines of the COVID outbreak. Now, organizers say they hope to plan similar events in the future. And finally this evening, and only on TV 17, new pictures of the Neowise Comet. Now, these were taken last night near the intersection of Highway 43 and Stockdale Highway. 17's very own photojournalist Juan Corona snapped these incredible shots. You may recall NASA first spotted the comet in March. It is named Neowise after the NASA Space Telescope that first discovered it. It's expected to make its closest approach to Earth on July 22nd. That's this Wednesday. Now make sure you catch a glimpse because the comet, we're told, we will not be back for another 6,800 years. And thank you to Juan for those pictures. All right. That's for us here on 17 News at 11. Saturday Night Live is next for all of us at 17 News. Good night. Seventeen News, your local news leader, continues 24 hours a day on KGET.com and our 17 News app in the spirit of the Golden Empire. 17 News.